In this video, I'm going to be doing the camera review on the new Moto G Power 5G 2024. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the new Moto G Power 5G 2024 edition, and I've been using this device for a few days now, and the camera is actually all right. We're gonna get into that in a second. I'm gonna be showing you some samples of videos and photos on here, but I'm gonna be telling you some of the specifications on these cameras and why I actually like these cameras. Now, if you guys didn't watch my pros and cons video, um, I actually changed my mind about the cameras. I actually think the cameras are quite good. Before I get into my opinions on them, the front facing selfie camera is going to be a 16 megapixel wide angle camera. And this goes up to 1080p at 30 frames per second as far as like recording goes. As far as our main cameras right here, we only have a dual camera setup right here. So our main camera is going to be a 50 megapixel wide camera and our secondary is going to be an eight megapixel ultra wide camera. We also have our LED flash right there and we have HDR compatibility with this camera as well now there are some things that I highlighted in my pros and cons videos and there were some reasons that I did not like this camera there's only a couple though the first one is it looks washed out there's not too much color um, it kind of looks gloomy and stuff but all in all like taking photos and videos it did look kind of washed out and I think the majority of people can agree with that the second thing about this camera is that the clarity is not too great you can definitely see some grain in the background and grain on my face and it kind kind of reminds me like one of those older budget phone cameras or older mid-range phone cameras if you guys know what I'm talking about but there is some graininess and those are the only two things that I really don't like about this camera is the graininess and the washed outness obviously you guys can edit your photos and you guys can hire the contrast and stuff so some of you this isn't going to be an issue at all so those those are the only issues I have with the camera on, on the Moto G Power 5G now the things that I do like about this, I feel like the stabilization is really good on the video. I feel like we get some decent photos, honestly, when we're still. They're not super as washed out as the videos and stuff. Um, but you guys can get some pretty decent shots on this phone. And as far as the stabilization goes, I honestly think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, especially for Motorola. What we've seen in the past for Motorola has not been good so it's nice to see some good stabilization on this and it's nice to see that they're using some newer sensors inside of their video cameras so i think the video is quite nice on here before we go ahead and show you those samples i just want to give you a quick tour of the camera right here obviously once you go inside the camera right here we have our photo we have our video you guys can change your frames per second right here at either 1080 30 or 1080 60. we have our slow motion we have our portrait mode we have our pro mode for the people that are used to dslrs and used to shooting uh with changing their isos and white balance and all that type of stuff and of course we have our gimmick section that has all that cool fun stuff over here we have our night vision we have our panorama and of course spot color and stuff so that is what you can find inside of here. I don't think the operating system is that fun or at least as fun and homey as Samsung, but I think it's all right. I think it's cool. Obviously stock Android look right here, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the samples that I took on the Moto G Power 5G. Alright guys, so this is the front facing camera, 1080p, 30 frames per second on the Moto G Power 2024. And this is how it looks right now. 
honestly in the viewfinder it looks pretty decent but uh, we're gonna look back at this in post and see how this is looking got a loud motorcycle right there there we go right, guys so this is a rear-facing camera 1080p 30 frames per second let me know what you guys think Now we have 1080p 60 frames per second on the Moto G stylus or the Moto G power rather 2024 and this is how it looks got some grass and stuff over here this is how we're looking so those are the samples that we got out of the Moto G Power 5G 2024 edition. Again, the only two things that I didn't really like too much is the lack of color, the lack of contrast, and some graininess that we saw mostly on the videos. But for the most part, I think we had some decent stabilization, some decent photos that we got from here, and some decent clarity from the photos as well. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I thought this was an okay camera. I think I kind of went hard on it in my pros and cons initially, but overall I think it's an okay camera. But if you enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.